What's up, people? My name's Jack. Today, I'm going to show you how to take that crappy little toaster microphone that you kind of dread recording on, throw it into a program I'm going to talk about today. It takes the audio quality, makes it 10 times better. This is not an exaggeration. It saves bad microphone quality, turns it into a Joe Rogan podcast industry standard level quality microphone. I was recently invited to speak at City and Islington College. No offense to the media team over there. They didn't hook me up with the greatest microphone. Respectfully, the audio was quite trash. So I thought, luckily enough, Adobe Podcast AI, the exact same tool we're talking about today, saved this audio quality. It's not even close, night and day. Let's jump on the screen and show you how much better Adobe Podcast AI made this particular audio track. All right, so here we are on the screen. Let's go ahead and demonstrate some pretty crazy before and afters here. Let's show you the before, then we'll show you what Adobe Podcast AI did to this specific audio track. I worked three days in my life for someone that wasn't me. I worked in a coffee shop. They never formally fired me. They just stopped putting me on the register. So it's almost worse than being fired. They were like, we're not even going to tell this guy he's trash. We're just going to take him off the list. <laughs> So I obviously don't really need to explain much there. It's pretty self-explanatory. The audio quality is bad. Sounds boomy. There's no direct microphone on myself. The microphone's across the room. It's a mess. Now, this would be completely unusable. However, you notice there's a second audio track down here, which means, of course, we throw this bad boy in Adobe Podcast AI and we saved this audio track. I worked three days in my life for someone that wasn't me. I worked in a coffee shop. They never formally fired me. They just stopped putting me on the register. So it's almost worse to be fired. They were like, we're not even going to tell this guy he's trash. We're just going to take him off the list. You know, it's nuts, right? It's absolutely fucking nuts. The reality of the situation is here. It's night and day. The before and after is crystal clear that the audio track was saved. Like I said, if you're talking about an industry standard professional grade recording, that right there was simply unusable, not cutting it. Then you whack it in Adobe Podcast AI. Sounds like I'm recording that on a podcast microphone. I've been invited on the Joe Rogan experience with a proper microphone in my face. We're showing what it does to trash audio, right? If you've got unsavable audio that is really bad, you know, you need you need a fix. Cool. Adobe Podcast AI, that's the fix. What does this do to just like regular audio quality? What does this do if you already record nice audio quality, but you just want a, a simple solution for mixing? Noise reduction, right? Vocal enhancement, vocal focus. It does all these things. Now, you don't necessarily notice the kind of mixing side when you're using it on a clip like we just showed it, because the main value there is it's kind of saving the clip. However, However, it has a lot of value to provide to just a normal audio recording by essentially being a one-stop shop to reduce the noise, level things out, focus in nicely on the vocals, and enhance them. So on the screen right now is my last YouTube video. I uploaded this two days ago. Let's go ahead and play the before. Today's video is going to be a little different, guys. Today, I'm going to tell you how to not get clients. In fact, I'm going to point out two to three key areas that you're probably falling short. This is contributing to you not landing freelance video editing clients. Cool. That was before. Now let's play the after. Today's video is going to be a little different, guys. Today, I'm going to tell you how to not get clients. In fact, I'm going to point out two to three key areas that you're probably falling short. This is contributing to you not landing freelance video editing clients. I don't even really need to, to keep doing a description. I feel like the before and the afters are pretty damn self-explanatory. The audio quality before wasn't necessarily bad, but it wasn't a mixed or refined soundtrack. There was some leveling issues. It was spiking, right? You know, that was down to me recording a little bit too close to the microphone, for example. Now, it completely mitigates that entire risk of having a crappy audio track, right? Because it takes it, enhances the vocals, mixes it, levels it all out. Honestly, some really great tech. Now, I've got two trials right here. I'm going to run them through. First trial I recorded a couple minutes before I started. We're going to take it over to Adobe Podcast AI. Where we're going to enhance it, right? This is the Adobe Podcast AI interface. Literally, drag and drop it. You come to Adobe Podcast AI. You use the quick tools. It's the enhanced speech that really takes this thing to another level. So, we have successfully exported both of the audio tracks. Trial number one and trial number two. We'll start with number one. It is really as simple as drag drag and dropping this file. It's then going to do the little roundy roundy buffer. It's going to enhance the speech. Let's go ahead and click download. It's going to download. We're going to drag it over into Adobe Premiere Pro, whack it down here on the timeline. Now let's go ahead and play the before. So you can really see the power of this tool in action. What's going down guys? My name's Jack, Unstoppable Force, also known as one of the best editors to ever touch the timeline. Today I am retiring from the craft of video production because I woke up with a spot. That's right, I can no longer rightfully stand in front of you as an industry leader. I have to put my crown down. 
So, I'm obviously doing a very dumb, very joking uh, example. There's definitely some leveling issues. Let's go ahead and unmute the Adobe Podcast enhanced version. Let's go ahead and replay that little jokey clip. What's going down, guys? My name is Jack, Unstoppable Force, also known as one of the best editors to ever touch the timeline. Today, I am retiring from the craft of video production because I woke up with a spot. That's right, I can no longer rightfully stand in front of you as an industry leader. I have to put my crown down and retire. Now, there can be an argument made for this making your microphone make you sound a bit robotic. At the end of the day, this is artificial intelligence, so it would make sense that it makes you sound a bit more artificial. And I definitely think that case can be made over here for, like, a clip that was bad and then get saved. It does sound pretty robotic. Like, just listen out for the roboticness. I'm gonna show you a quick fix, then we're gonna fix the boomy microphone with Siyuja. Two seconds. Let's play this. I worked three days in my life for someone that wasn't me. I worked in a coffee shop. They never formally fired me. So I'm sure you can hear, right? Because it's trying to level things out and it's trying to focus on the vocals, it's trying to push the noise to the back. It sounds a bit like a robot. There's no two ways around it, right? So how do you go about fixing that? It's relatively simple. You just want to combine both of the audio tracks with a little bit of just level shifting. So what are you going to go ahead and do right there? First off, you're going to want to go ahead and drag over your effect controls up here. And we just want a little bit of a, you know, collaboration between these two audio tracks. For example, what I might do here, I might actually just go ahead and fade the real audio into this particular the track right here so you know what i might go ahead and do i, I might just go ahead and, uh, and nest those so i can make one change to all the audio tracks and i might just come over here and do minus minus 10 maybe so you can hear a little bit of the normal audio track in fact i might just do minus five to the real one as well and then let's go ahead and play this so we mixed in a little bit of the authentic backing but with the vocal focus on top of it let's listen to this let's see what it does i worked three days in my life for someone that wasn't me i worked in a coffee shop so that's that's a little bit better. Maybe we do minus 15 on uh, on the real one. We're Again, we're just trying to find the right balance between the authentic truck that has a little bit of that noise in because, again, it just contributes to it sounding like an authentic truck. But also, we want the beastie vocals, but we just want to distract from the kind of robotic sound. So, again, we're just mixing these two tracks in together. Let's play it. Let's see what it looks like. I worked three days in my life for someone that wasn't me. I worked in a coffee shop. They never formally fired me. They just stopped putting me on the register. So it's almost worse to be fired. They were like, we're not even going to tell this guy he's trash. We're just going to take him off the list, you know, just... Sweet. So all of a sudden, that's sounding more authentic. It's sounding more like the original track. It's got the added element of that tasty vocal focus. However, we mitigate the kind of risk of it sounding like you're a robot and an art artificial intelligence yourself. Now let's come back with trial number two. By the way, while this enhances, if you guys haven't checked out my podcast with a young legend, Siyuja Gupta, dude's going viral on Twitter. 10,000 likes, 5,000 retweets, truly crushing growth on Twitter. He's landing clients through his personal brand very very cool story we did a podcast an hour long i would say this is a must watch for anybody serious about building a career in video production truly some major value in that podcast because it's from the perspective of myself who's built a video production business, and then Siyuja, who's in the trenches building a video production business. So I'm gonna link that down below. And boom, trial number two has enhanced. We're gonna tap download, and we're gonna drag it over here. We're gonna drag it here. And uh, again, let's go ahead and mute the after. Let's come back and refresh your brain on what this sounded like before we threw it in Adobe Podcast AI. Yeah, the first one, you are sitting on like half a million subscribers on YouTube, so you are damn big. And I knew you through your videos, and that helped me a lot. So crazy boom, we've already been through this. I don't need to, you know, repeat myself. Let's hear how much this thing improved. As first of all, you're sitting on like half a million subscribers on YouTube, so you are damn big. And I knew you through, through your videos and that helped me a lot growing my video editing skills. So one thing I'll comment on right away, definitely it sounds robotic. Again, this takes it back to our mini fix that we are showcasing. Some of this stuff, if it's truly bad audio quality, for example, the room boominess is off the charts like this one, we're going to have to try a little bit of mixing ourselves. Now, I'm not an engineer, but this is a very simple process to simply play with the levels. Maybe put this one again on five. Again, we take this and uh, boom, drop it, put this on minus 15. We try similar levels to the public speaking clip. Again, drag this over here. Let's go ahead and play this and see what it sounds like. Yeah, so first of all, you're sitting on like half a million subscribers on YouTube, so you are damn big. And already starting to sound a little bit better, but what if we do just zero? And uh, again, minus 15 here. Yeah, so first of all, you're sitting on like half a million subscribers on YouTube, so you are damn big. And I knew you through, through your videos and that helped me a lot. 
So, still a little bit robotic. You know, for the sake of the actual tutorial, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth all day long until we get it perfect. But if you want to hear what the perfect version sounded like after we mixed it down, head on over to our podcast. Me and Siyuja had an epic one hour podcast. And, uh, you know, truly, undeniably, even with a little bit of mixing here, the enhanced quick tool takes that audio quality, absolutely saves it. And uh, it's all thanks to Adobe Podcast AI. So, that right there is the video, guys. If you enjoyed, slap a like on it. I've got another AI video right here. Go ahead and click it. I'm going to jump off the screen. Adobe Podcast AI link down below as well as the Siuja podcast link down below. Now I'm going to jump off your screen. Tap this if you want to keep watching. See you there.